Hello again, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Tom Slusher down in the Quantitative Reasoning Center. I thoroughly enjoyed my flying career in the Air Force. I'd like to pass on a couple of taboos that I've learned uh, while flying. One is, if you're in a multi-seat aircraft, never ever say the words go down or going down. If somebody happens to be nodding off a little bit and they key in on the going down phrase, a uh, heart attack might ensue. Uh, also, uh, if you are in a multi-seat aircraft, never ever brag about your flight lunch, unless you have enough to share, of course, uh, because uh, especially if you're out over the water, over the ocean, uh, you could have a mutiny on your hands. Uh, another thing, if you're lucky enough to be in an, on an airdrop mission, never ever say the word green. The loadmasters keyed in on the phrase green light to release the load for an airdrop mission. So if they hear the word green and they're not really paying attention, they may release the load in a place where you don't want the load to be dropping out of the aircraft. All right, just a couple tips, maybe keep you out of trouble. Uh, now let's get on with the business of the day. Today we're looking at homework problem number 15 from section 10.2. In this problem we are asked to find the first three uh, elements of the Taylor series uh, for the function 1 over x and about a equals 2. I know it's a little different than your problem, but uh, I want you to have the chance to do some work on your own. Okay, so to do this we're going to need to know some derivatives. Okay, so let's go ahead and calculate those. Uh, f of x is 1 over x, of course. Uh, f prime of x, simple derivative, uh, negative 1 over x squared. And we're going to need the second derivative so we can get those first three terms. Uh, second derivative is, uh, what do we got? Uh, 2 over uh, x cubed. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so now I've got the three derivatives, uh, I'm sorry, the, the first three terms that I'm going to be using here, and I know that uh, a is about 2, so uh, now I need to find out what the function evaluated at 2 is. So I'll need f of, f of 2, and that of course is 1 half, that's easy to solve, and I'm going to need f prime of 2 as well, put in 2 for x here, obviously I'm going to get a negative 1 over 4. And again, same with the second derivative, I'm going to need uh, the second derivative evaluated at 2, and that looks like about uh, 1 over 4. It's 1 over 8 times 2, uh, that gives me 1 fourth. Okay, so now I have everything I need to know in order to plug it into the formula uh, for a Taylor series. Now, this, uh, what I've written here is simply right out of the blue box of knowledge on page 515, which is the formula for uh, figuring a Taylor series for a function. Okay, so let's just, it's just a simple matter of plugging it into the formula now. Okay, let's go. Uh, I have f of x, which is uh, 1 over x, is equal to f of a, which I've calculated to be 1 half, plus f prime of a, which we saw to be negative 1 fourth, negative 1 fourth uh, times x minus uh, a, and a is 2, remember. Okay, plus the second derivative evaluated at a, and we calculated that to be 1 fourth. So I've got 1 fourth, and now I'm going to be dividing it uh, uh, by 2 factorial, so which is of course 2, and multiplied by x minus 2 squared. Okay, and of course a Taylor series, you need the dot 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 because a Taylor series goes on to infinity. That's what distinguishes it from a Taylor polynomial. Okay, so uh, was there anything hard there? You know, we could do some algebra and simplify this thing a little bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So this equals 1 half minus 1 fourth times x minus 2 plus 
1 fourth times 1 half is 1 eighth times x minus 2 quantity squared plus dot dot dot. Actually, we know that ne that next term is going to be minus, don't we? Because we can see the trend happening here. Let's go ahead and make that a minus. And uh, that is the Taylor series for the function 1 over x. Okay, uh, good luck on the rest of your homework. Bye.